Then I got traded, and I was devastated. My new home in Sacramento was 82 miles north, yet it seemed more like a million miles away. It turned out to be a great seven-year run with the Kings. It's a place where I played some of my best basketball. And the Kings fans, well, they're simply of the best. It's an honor to have my jersey number two retired by the Kings organization. Thank you. Sacramento has also been my home for my post-NBA career. I have a wonderful job assisting a visionary first-class owner in Vivek Radadive and being able to work alongside Chris and Pete D'Alessandro and Mike Brox. Keep an eye on the Kings this season, folks. We're going to surprise some people. Yeah, you can, clap. you can clap about that. Clap, clap. Clap about that. Thank you. I played 14 seasons in the NBA, including the championship with the Lakers, and was on two Olympic teams, and it was a real privilege. During my era, the NBA emerged as a global league, and I want to thank my fellow enshrinee, David Stern, the man who served that NBA commissioner. <laughs> Under his leadership, the NBA risen to incredible heights on and off the court, and thank you so much, Dave. And the league is in terrific hands with NBA commissioner Adam Silver. In just a short period of time, we've seen what a tremendous impact he's made. I want to thank Jerry Colangelo and the Naismith Memorial Basketball Hall of Fame for this special honor. I also want to thank Mr. Colangelo for bringing the USA basketball back to promise where it belongs. I also want to acknowledge some additional people who have played an invaluable role in my life during my journey in Springfield. Mike Sharp, my financial advisor, who has been with me the entire way. Two of my friends, Jim Davison and Sherman Brown, I want to thank them for their guidance and their continued friendship. My mom, Ernell O'Neill. I love you, Mom. I love you. She was my rock growing up, my best friend, my confidant, my everything. She also wore two hats, a lot of the time on the parenting front because of my dad, Mitch Richmond, served in the Army, traveling all over the world, including fighting in the Vietnam War. When my dad was home, he was wonderful. He was a real positive influence in my life. And one thing I took from him, he gave me the dimples. And also my charisma, you know. <laughs> but I said goodbye to my dad this last June, and I love you, Dad. I want to thank my two brothers who are here tonight, Michael and Tony, my grandmother, Emma Thomas, who never missed any of my games. I never held it against her that her favorite player was Larry Bird. Thanks, Larry. My grandmother and my aunt, Mary Humphrey, were the other strong women in my life who taught me to right from wrong. My godfather, Robert Miles, who helped shape me to become the man that I am. I also want to acknowledge my mother-in-law, Vera Phillips, and her late husband, John Phillips, who is in spirits with us celebrating this wonderful occasion. Her daughter, Julie Phillips, became the love of my life and my number one supporter. They say every man needs a strong woman behind him. Well, I say every man needs a strong woman beside him. Hello everyone, I spend a lot of time trying to get you guys nice videos, so please subscribe to this page and please subscribe to my second page. The link to my second page is in the description section. Thank you.